Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com, but today's video has nothing to do with gardening and everything to do with hot chocolate, dairy-free hot chocolate. Uh, as I'm sure some of my viewers know, I, I don't have any dairy in my diet. It's not a, a choice. I just started losing my ability to deal with uh, dairy in my 30s, and uh, in my 40s it just became impossible. I haven't had any dairy of any kind since 2011. Um, so there's certain things you miss, and I, I know you're going to give me some, try this, try that, I've tried everything. <laughs> That's all denial. If you just take it out of your diet, all the problems go away if you can't deal with it. Anyway, um, one of the things I miss a lot, have missed, is hot chocolate. Uh, chocolate in general, you know, you go to a store and there's grocery or chocolate bars and all of them have milk in them. Uh, so I found a solution. It's taken me years to figure out a way to make a cup of hot chocolate that satisfies me on every uh, level. And it's funny, you go on um, dairy-free uh, Facebook groups, all they talk about is what to buy. They don't tell you how to cook. Uh, so this is something you kind of have to figure out on your own or, or by watching videos like this. And, and if you're in that category, you can't have dairy in any way. All my cooking videos, all of them are dairy-free, no matter what I'm making. All the baking, cake, everything, <laughs> it's all dairy-free. Um, anyway, and I try to figure out a way to make it taste really good, good enough to serve to my guests and they don't really notice, although it's really hard to replace butter. Anyway, hot chocolate. Let's get going here. So the trick with this one here is that you actually use an egg, which is going to sound kind of weird. Um, but anyway, step one, and I've tried this with cocoa and <coughs> butter works, or I've tried this with cocoa, but she's using real chocolate as the best. So this is semi-sweet baking chocolate. Um, and if you read the ingredients very carefully, there's absolutely no dairy, no milk of any kind in it. So that's what I use. Just because it says semi-sweet doesn't mean it's dairy-free. You have to read the ingredients. About, about a quarter cup of that is about the right amount. I usually just try to cover, fill the bottom of this big uh, uh, heat-proof mixing thing. Okay, so I got about a quarter cup of that. I put in about a teaspoon of, uh, this is just uh, dairy-free butter. And, uh, where is it? A little bit of you know, whatever dairy-free milk you use. This is rice milk. I, I like this one the most because it doesn't taste like coconuts. It doesn't taste like almonds. It really doesn't taste like anything. It's been so long since I had milk, it probably doesn't even taste like milk. But it's milk, the most milk-like and doesn't have really have a particular flavor one way or the other. I'm going to stick this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. While that's happening, I'm going to boil some water because this, this just uses boiling water. All right, now if 30 seconds doesn't get the chocolate nice and melted, I mean, you can still see there's some pieces of chocolate there, but it, it's hot, okay? And we have 30 seconds, just, just give it a few more, give it more time, maybe, maybe 40 seconds, 50 seconds, really depends on your microwave. All right, now I'm going to put a heaping teaspoonful of sugar in there. Remember, this is semi-sweet hot chocolate, so it doesn't have a lot of sweetness, and you want your hot chocolate to be sweet. Um, and what I'm going to do is take this hand blender and just get that going a little bit. And you notice I've got a big, heavy jar here. That's why I can pour water in. Okay. Just some. Enough water to get everything going here. All right. Now, I'm just going to disconnect this so it doesn't not tip over. Now, the reason you add an egg is because the egg adds fat. And, you know, it's got some protein, of course, too. But this will thicken it all up and just give it this creamy, fantastic texture. All right, so you, you don't have to do this. And if you're worried about having a a raw egg in with it, then, then don't do it, <laughs> right? I'm sure uh, there's always a risk. I mean, we're putting in boiling water, to, so to some extent we're heating the raw egg. I don't know how safe or unsafe this is. I've seen lots of people do things like this. I've been doing it for quite some time, I'm fine. Uh, but anyway, if you don't like that, don't use the egg. You could use uh, cream cheese, I suppose, like there's dairy-free cream cheese. And anything kind of thick, you know, that's going to add some thickness to this. I've tried different things. I like the egg the most, I have to admit, uh, probably because of the richness of the yolk, right? But anyway, all you do is you get that going again. 
and just gradually add the egg while it's going. Right? Otherwise, the egg will kind of cook from the hot water. You don't want that. You don't want scrambled eggs in your hot chocolate. If you do it this way, it gets a fantastic texture. All right. And this has got a lot of air in it. Right, so I'm gonna add a bit more hot chocolate, or a bit more water here now. Look how full this thing is. All the markings are gone off of this. It's almost at two cups here, but most of that's air. I probably added about a cup of boiling water. So I initially put about half a cup of boiling water in, got everything going, and I just added another half a cup. But even then, it's still more full than that. Right, so you pretty much get enough to fill a mug with a little bit left over. All right, now some people recommend um, with things like this adding uh, salt, a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor of the hot cho of the chocolate. And it, it actually works out kind of fine in terms of temperature. One egg is just enough to bring the temperature down so that it's just right for drinking. But you see this is a fairly large mug, it's sort of a non-standard, you know, it's like a tea mug, right? And it almost fills us. We could, have, we could have added some more hot water, all right? But this is a beautiful, frothy, you can see it's, it's kind of uh, very thick and when you drink it, it's just got this wonderful texture. All right, so let's give us a taste. All right, now, if you still don't think it's safe after doing this, you could just stick it on the stove and bring it to a boil with a whisk, right? Uh, that way you know it's, you know, you've killed anything that might be in the egg. Okay, but um, I just go like this. Anyway, let's give her a try. Oh, holy smokes. Yeah, so if you have been missing hot chocolate in your life, and let's say you've tried lots of different products and none of them are satisfying you, I think this is the way to go. And it's relatively inexpensive to make because you're just using, you know, a quarter cup of, of chocolate chips and everything else. It seems a bit uh, tedious and complex, but I mean, this takes about a minute to make. Whenever I want hot chocolate, it takes me a minute to make hot chocolate, maybe two minutes at tops. It's not a big deal. And for the satisfaction, because <laughs> once, you, once you take dairy out of your diet, um, you know, it's, it, you get a lot less chocolate in your diet, and chocolate's such a wonderful thing. So give us a try, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, until next time, have fun in your garden, have fun in your kitchen, enjoy chocolate. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here, go to Vessies.com to buy whatever you need for your garden this year. And use my coupon code GAVS23 to get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in the order and there's no oversized items in the order. Check out the description box of this video for details. You can buy everything you need from Bessie's. They have seeds, fruit bushes and trees, soil amendments, pest solutions, tools, clothing, and lots of other stuff too. So yeah, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here and they sell something you need, buy it from them using my coupon code. And happy gardening.